Hi everyone, let's look at three stocks that you can buy and hold for the long term. I've included timestamps for you guys down below in the comments and if you like what you see and found the video helpful, I'd really appreciate you subscribing and liking the video. Now let's get started and the first stock I want to look at is Waste Management Incorporated with stock ticker symbol WM. They handle environmental services, so this includes things such as recycling of that waste. They also create energy with that waste and they have recently discovered a technology that allows them to fuel 6,000 of their fleet with this natural waste energy. They also handle trash collection for 20 million clients, both residential and commercial. They have increased their dividend for the last 15 years consistently and waste is also reasonably recession proof as it is a must have industry. They have more sites than its next two business competitors combined with 252 and they also have the biggest waste company vehicle fleet of 26,000. Um, they also are hard to disrupt as smaller companies lack the scale needed to develop their own facilities. They have 375 million potential customers in the operating area of North America and Puerto Rico. They have safe dividends as well because of the good payout ratio and great cash flow. They have a trailing PE of 14.66 and a 1.61 debt to equity ratio which is great for a company with straight re steady revenue streams. And Bill Gates is also a large shareholder if that helps. Now the next stock I want to look at is JP Morgan Chase. JP Morgan Chase is the US biggest bank with millions of customers with varying degrees of wealth. They are also an extremely well managed bank and a very stable one with Jamie Dimon at the helm. They also have assets of over $2.5 trillion. They have a dividend yield of over 3% which is fantastic compared to other competitors such as Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. They also have a consistently paid dividend since the mid 90s, even through the financial crisis. They have revenue of over $109 billion through 2018 and have a trailing PE of 11.39, which I think is fantastic for a bank of this size and this represents quite a bargain. They are very diversified into four main areas as well. All the areas are to do with banking, but they are sort of spread out as well. So you have consumer and community banking, you have the corporate investment banking side, which is what most people think of with JP Morgan. They have the commercial banking, which is more Chase, and they have the asset and wealth management. They have also recently invested massively into technology, spending over 10.8 billion a year, and they have more technologists than Facebook and Twitter combined. They have also recently poached one of Google's head executives to head the JP Morgan Artificial Intelligence Department. This is fantastic as it should enable JP Morgan to be one of the leaders in artificial intelligence. So the next one of the next stocks I want to look at is Microsoft with the stock ticker symbol MSFT. And the Microsoft Windows operating system is still run on over 80% of the world's computers, despite many people seeing Windows in a massive decline. They have returned over 180% gain over the past five years, which is no indicator of future growth, but demonstrates that despite falling Windows operating system sales, Microsoft's diversified business model continues to grow profits. And talking to this diversified profit portfolio, they have diversified into Office 365 subscriptions, also cloud services through Azure, and even gaming through Xbox, which is massively profitable as well for Microsoft. Um, so let's have a look at some of the figures around Microsoft. They offer a 1.8% dividend yield, which is great for a technology company. They have also increased that dividend with payout by approximately 15% year over year throughout the past decade, which is fantastic record and they look on the pace to do this again within the high single digits or low double digits. Their commercial cloud revenue is also up 48% year over year, as Azure is one of the market leaders. They own 13 game studios to create exclusives for Microsoft, Xbox consoles and PC platforms. And this has enabled their gaming revenue to be up 8% despite being in the latter stage of the console generation. So. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope you've learned something, I really hope you enjoyed the video and um, make sure you are liking the videos, make sure you are also commenting down below, let me know what I did well and let me know what I need to improve, um, tell me if you're going to purchase any of these stocks, First, tell me if you already have any of your portfolio, um, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.